Uh, thanks, David. Now, Target in the US have caused global outrage after they photoshopped a thigh gap onto a teenage model for their junior swimwear line. It's got Mia Friedman fired up, along with teen body image expert Danny Miller, and they join us now. Mia, la welcome, ladies. Your yep. website was one of the first to blog about this. So what was your reaction when you saw the images? I'd love to say I was shocked. I was relieved that it wasn't Target in Australia. I've, I've since been on Target's website in Australia and they don't even um, use models for the, the teenage clothes. They just show the clothes themselves. But I was just exasperated. I mean, mm. it's not just part of her um, private parts that are missing with the Photoshop, um, but it's, look at the arms. I mean, basically nothing's changed since, uh, you know, I was chair of the Body Image Advisory uh, group and we talked, you know, made some voluntary recommendations about the use of Photoshop and the overuse of Photoshop. Yeah. Not talking about changing the colour of a bikini or removing a pimple. We're talking about creating body shapes that don't exist, that mm. look like aliens. Mm. And it, it, it's just devastating that anyone would look at a picture of a teenage girl and say, we need to create a gap where there isn't one or we need to take an arm and elongate it by well, half a foot. Exactly. I mean, the model is tiny to begin with. Danny, yeah. we know mm -hmm. the kinds of messages that this sends to teenage girls and yet it keeps happening. Absolutely. And despite the fact that teen girls are incredibly media savvy, this absolutely does have an effect also on their psyche. I mean, I work with hundreds of teen girls every day and I was with a group of 100 teen girls just yesterday and I asked them, what do you think would be the average dress size of Australian women? And 99% of those girls thought it would be a size 10 or a size 8. In fact, the average dress size of Australian women is 16. But girls would never see diversity in sizing and they never see the full range of body shapes represented. Mm. And it is having an impact because they start to play that compare and despair game and think that they're not good enough. Yeah, exactly. Now, I mean, a Target in the States have since taken the pictures mm. off their website. Mm. Do you think they should be held more accountable? I just think that we should have... It's very hard to legislate around areas like Photoshop. You know, the genie's out of the bottle in some ways and some people photograph, uh, Photoshop their own images on social media. But I just don't see any reason why we are Photoshopping bodies, why our magazines, why our advertisers, why our fashion labels should ever be photoshopping people's bodies. And I think it's also false advertising, particularly in the fashion industry or in the beauty industry. If you're promoting that a product um, can perhaps alleviate wrinkles mm. and you're showing an image that it's had all of those digitally erased, mm. then to me that's absolutely it's misleading. And at, at the very minimum, we need to have disclosure. There should be a caption that says, yeah. this image has been altered Without and perhaps even a percentage range. Mm. And it's interesting because, you, I mean, this is obviously a mistake, this crotch shopping, which we've never seen before. That's bizarre. Yeah. Um, because yeah. someone obviously put lazy the, used the computer badly or had a few glasses of wine over lunch mm. and came back to the office and wasn't paying attention but the fact that they were even photoshopping in that area and it's not just that area that was photoshopped mm. it's everywhere else yeah you know it's just you, you sometimes say has the world gone mad well mm. especially when we've seen a lot of discussion about <laughs> the thigh gap bikini bridge we've seen a lot of discussion about this on social media it feels like a step backwards. It is, and we're still very much making the ultimate glass ceiling for our girls, the bathroom mirror. And at the end of the day, as I said, this is having an effect. We know that 80% of girls on any given day in schools will be on a diet. Out of that percentage of girls, at least 15% will be going to such extreme measures as using laxatives or purging. So it's not enough for us to be complacent mm. and say that this doesn't matter. It does matter. Mm. What we really need to present girls with are healthy, diverse models of what beauty may look like. Yeah, and well, I do Yes. Sorry, May. I was just going to say, why is it that magazines and advertisers still feel the need mm. to retouch images when there's so much dialogue around exactly. about how harmful it is? Well, when you talk to them, they'll often say that women like to aspire to this glamorous model. But what I keep saying is, who decided that glamour looks like that? Who decided that mm. glamour is a thigh gap? Who decided that that's what our sexually attractive standard is? And I also take exception with the fact that advertisers and, and the fashion industry says, oh, it's just fashion, it's just fantasy. They are the standard bearers, you know, they, they set the standards for what we see as normal, what young girls see as normal. And also if we don't see anything else, Mia, how can yeah. we aspire to anything else? Exactly. If that's all we're presented with, how do they really know what might resonate with us? So it's much, much worse in the US. I mean, you know, even Victoria's Secret heavily photoshop their mm. models. Mm. And if Miranda Kerr and the likes of those <laughs> girls are being photoshopped, what hope is there for any of us, yeah. let alone a teenage yeah. girl who looks at themselves in the mirror? Well, let's hope we don't... Uh have more of that problem here in Australia. David.